drop, cover, and hold on. This is an earthquake drill. In observance of the great central U.S. shakeout, and to provide earthquake preparedness awareness, the Illinois Department of Public Health Office of Preparedness and Response encourages you to take a few minutes to watch this video. Like many Americans, especially those who live in earthquake country, the Office of Preparedness and Response at the Illinois Department of Public Health is taking advantage of the shakeout to practice steps now to protect us in the event of a real earthquake. To minimize the risk of injuries during an earthquake, we also advise the following actions. Strapping bookshelves to walls. Securing heavy objects with straps. Storing heavy items on bottom shelves and placing lightweight items above heavier boxes or gear. This is a drill. An earthquake is happening right now. What will you do? Drop, cover, and hold on. Drop to the ground or floor on your hands and knees as soon as the shaking starts. During an earthquake, the ground shakes so strongly, being positioned on your hands and knees provides the greatest protection. Take cover by getting under a sturdy desk or table. Shield your head and neck with one hand to protect yourself from falling debris. Hold on to your shelter and keep a grip on it. Be prepared to move with your shelter until the shaking stops. If there is no table or desk near you, drop to the ground and then, if possible, move to an inside corner of the room. Be in a crawling position to protect your vital organs and be ready to move if necessary and cover your neck with your hands or arms. Do not try to move to another location or outside. Earthquakes occur without warning and may be so violent that you can't run or crawl. You're more likely to be injured if you try to move around during strong shaking. If you are unable to drop, cover, and hold on, if you have difficulty getting safely to the floor on your own, get as low as possible, protect your head and neck, and move away from windows and items that can fall on you. In a wheelchair, lock your wheels and remain seated until the shaking stops. Always protect your head and neck with your arms, a pillow, a book, or whatever's handy. When the shaking stops, look around to make sure it is safe before exiting the building. Once outside, check and make sure everyone made it out of the building. Avoid gathering around awnings or overhangs as structures like these could be a potential hazard for collapse. To find out more about the Great Central U.S. Shakeout, please visit this website.